Hey, it's Turbo Seldor, back for another super fun and exciting Linux tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to talk about how you can use source code to play games on Linux. Uh, I realized I looked at the tutorials and it was all for programmers, and I was like, I don't know how to program. I don't know nothing about that. So instead, what I got here is I'm going to show you how to download a game that's just source code and how to compile that code on your Linux computer. Now, if you're using uh, any regular distro of Linux, it's going to come pre-installed with some stuff. So first thing we want to do is we're going to want to open, uh, so we're going to need some things. So this is a tutorial for uh, programs that are compiled in C, uh, which is a programming language. You don't need to know much about it. All I'm going to say is, is that there'll be other tutorials for other programming languages because apparently nobody uh, ever does this with a focus on gaming. So we're going to want to make sure you have the CMake GUI because it's going to be a hell of a lot easier with a GUI. Okay, and then the other thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to download the game, which I already did. So I'm going to show you how to do F.A. Angband, which is first age Angband. Now, you go on, you heard of Angband, you heard of a game, and you're like, well, maybe it's on my distro, right? And you're just going to go Angband, right? Ang Band, right, with the double A's, and then there's nothing. Or maybe there's some, but it's not the version you want, or it doesn't have graphics or whatever. But... There's online version, right? And then it links you to GitHub, and you download a zip, and what do you get from the zip? You go to the downloads, you got your FA Ang Band, and you're like, I, I'm so excited to play a classic roguelike. You extract it, and then what's in there? There's just a bunch of text files, some SH files, autogen, uh, install.sh. Now, sometimes they do got the install.sh. You could click that. It may install, it may not. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, the way it was intended to be done, which is with, of course, CMake. So it's a command line program that compiles other programs. But what we're going to do, first of all, I got the FA Angband main, and then I'm just going to create a new folder. It's FA Angband, I don't know, we'll, we'll call this uh, build. That's a cool programmer thing to say, right? And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open up CMake. I said I'll open up CMake. Yeah, there we go. So now what we got to do is we got to browse for a source, okay? So we need some source code. And uh, what we're going to do is go to the downloads folder, all right? And we got the main one that we just downloaded. And it's like, okay. And it's where do you want to build it? And I'm going to say I want you to build it all the way here in the build folder, okay? So all CMake does is set things up so you can compile them. It doesn't actually compile them. Or at least if it does, I don't know how to do that. All right, so first I'm just going to go configure, and it's going to want some things. First of all, if you're using this on Linux, it's going to fault it to Green Hills Multi, and I have no idea what the fuck it is. The only one you need to care about is Unix make files, because that's what we got. Uh, so we'll use the native default compilers, and we'll finish. Oh, it's error in the process. Does not appear to contain CMake lists. Oh, I know what happened here. So, uh, we just back this up, and then we'll try that again. There we go. Error and configuration process. So this happens to me all the fucking time. All right? Because I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing the X11 front end. Maybe I'm missing something else. So we're missing some files. So all we got to do is we got to get these libraries going. Terminal? Yeah, there we go. That's going to get it. There's going to be a lot of editing in this video because I wasn't ready for it. And I may have to redo it. So here's the problem, right? You see these dependencies, all these red things happen when you download CMake. I got this, I got that, and then it's like, I don't know what Sphinx is, I don't know what any of this shit is. Don't have X11, uh, don't have the library, don't have any of this. So what am I going to do? Um, I'm going to look at what's missing. So we're missing, and then do that path not found. So I don't know what X11 is, but let's find out, shall we? So all I got to do is DNF search X11. Tell me if you find anything. What this do is going to look through all my repos. It's going to be like, is there anything X11 that we got to do? Don't worry about them copper repos. I ain't doing nothing illegal. Just holding an invisible can. Oh, man. There's so many different X11 things that we need. So I don't know what we're going to need, but we're probably going to be needing this. So we're going to need uh, lib X11 devel. Anything that's a development file. Probably that's what the programmer wanted you to have. So we'll just do sudo dnf install x11 devel x86 64. And I just put in my password that no one could see. And it's going to be like, yeah, I'm looking for that shit. I'll find it. 
just copy that just copy it just do it just copy yeah yeah that's right so then what we'll do go all the way back down here and then we'll just do install this thing instead we'll just paste it yeah sure that's fine Sure, that's only a couple of K. I hope it's not a virus. Virus. All right. So then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be like, okay, everything's set up here. Let's uh, let's generate it again. And it's got some stuff. It figured it out. Hey, it looked at. We got the X11 font. Generating is done. So if you do get those errors, just like look up those packages. If you're missing them, install them. It usually could find it. So now we got that. It's all ready to go. Okay. So now the CMake's ready to go. It's like it's generated. It's done. It's ready. It's ready to happen. What we're gonna do? And we'll go up here in the file path. I'm going to copy location and then I'm going to open a new terminal. So if you want to compile code in Linux, it's really easy because all of them, at least Fedora and uh, the major distros like Ubuntu and stuff, all come with compilers built in. I don't know about Windows. Don't ask me about it. I don't know about Mac. Don't ask me about that either. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do this and I will paste that. So we're going to go into this location. We're in main. And then I'm just going to type, oh, yeah, just make Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're in here. My bad. I went to the wrong file folder. So what you got to do, real easy, you go to the build one, right? And that's where we're going to make it. So we're just going to do the, so we go copy location. We go right here, right? And we go CD, which takes us to the directory. We'll paste that directory. Now we're going to do make. Yeah, my bad. I was in the wrong directory. So that's the problem with doing these uh, things. So you see how it's compiling. It's doing all this stuff. So remember, CMake, the GUI, his only job is to basically uh, do, is to compile all the information, but it doesn't compile code, okay? Puts all the files you need in the build folder, and then you have to go to the build folder to build it. So, just to review, because some of you got to do it, you got your main, you got your build, all right? If you want to build and compile code, you're going to use CMake, you're going to, I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see my hand. You're going you're gonna to have the path where the source is. You have the path where you want it to get built. Then you're going to go to that build directory and do the fun command of make in that directory. And if there's a CMake file, it just follows that. And there we go. So we got it. So if we go into build, you'll notice there's now a new file. It's an executable. It says FAANG band on it. And you click on it. Holy shit, you could play it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, there it is. This is a game. It's text-based game. There's not a lot of, like, graphics don't worry about that but that's an example so that's how you compile code from source you can go to github and download it right now and just try it i have a link in the description if it doesn't work i'll let me know in the comments and i'll tell you how you're dumb or something all right thanks for watching